Hi, I'm Dave Taddeo and this is Coders Tech. It's June 23rd, 2014, and today I want to talk to you about using Filmstar with Excel. Recently there was an article published on Laser Focus World website by Fred Goldstein of FTG Software. It talks a lot about using Filmstar with Excel, and it's really, really good. I really recommend that you go and take a look at it, and we'll take a look at it now. So here's the article on Laser Focus World. Software, thin film coding design, Excel extends optical coding software capabilities. The URL is really long, uh, but I'll make sure that the link is available in uh, the YouTube video. You can also find the link at the associated FTG Software website page. And you can find that at ftgsoftware.com slash lfw20142. HTM. And it's right here at the top. So that's easier to remember, but I'll make sure both links are available. In this page from FTG Software are all the files that you'll need to go through some of the examples and to use uh, as you see fit and uh, for your particular needs. So take a look at this as well. Okay. The article is really good. And as you can see, it's by Fred Goldstein. And Microsoft Excel can extend the capabilities of optical thin film design. This is really, really uh, useful and helpful. And I think it's really important. It's very powerful. And I really recommend that you go through the article and look at each of the sections and try it out yourself. Um, I'm sure you'll find something in here that you'll use and find very useful in your uh, designing and modification needs, uh, measuring, finding index, and so on. Okay? So let's go through this section by section. The first section is copy and paste. Uh, we all use computers and we all know how important copy and paste can be. It makes life so much simpler whether we're copying and pasting a single cell into multiple cells or whether we're copying and pasting full pages. Um, just control C and control V and there you go. It's so easy. So one of the examples that I want to show is in index. And I've got index open here. I'm going to show you here. And I've got BK7 open. The easiest way to do this, there's a couple ways to do it, but the easiest way to do it is to click on File, Copy Table, and then I'm going to open Excel and open a new spreadsheet, a new workbook, and I'm just going to paste. And there you can see it. I've got Wavelength in column A, index in column B, and absorption data in column C. This is really, really useful. Uh, you can modify this as, as you need to um, and make graphs and overlay them and see the differences. Uh, you can look at two different substrates, two different materials that you've characterized in two different coding machines. Um, this is really, really handy and really useful. You can see how quick and easy that was, copy, paste, and all of this data is now available. Another way to copy and paste, I'm going to open SIO2. And what I'm going to do is going to set up index table. I'm going to select the whole table, edit, and copy. Click OK. And in my Excel workbook, I'm just going to paste that right here. And now I've got two different uh, materials or two different substrates that I can compare or I can save. I can um, archive these so that I can come back to them in the future after I've made changes and go back to what I had, for example. This is really easy, really uh, powerful, and very useful. Okay. So copying and pasting, you can do that with the index data as I just showed you. Um, you can do that with optimization targets as well. If I go into Filmstar, 
and open, I have an ophthalmic green coating here. You can see that here. And I've got optimization targets. And I can do the same thing. I can copy these optimization targets by copying, going into Excel, and pasting them. And I can do this with several different uh, optimization targets, um, five or six in a row, different codings, compare them by you know, adding a graph and overlaying them and so on. Very, very handy, very, very useful. Uh, one of the things that you can do with the optimization targets is paste them into Excel, run an algorithm or run a function to change them or to modify them in some way, and then copy and paste them back into the optimization targets table and move on. It's very quick, very easy, very, very helpful. Okay. <clears throat> There's a program called DAGRA. DAGRA is here. It's at blueleafsoftware.com slash product slash DAGRA. I've got the screenshots page open. And you can download this as a trial uh, and use it. And what this does is you open up a graph, whatever graph, wherever you find it. Um, it can be in several different formats, uh, JPEG, bitmap. Um, they even have uh, digitized PDF gra graphics. And what you can do is the graph in this screenshot you can see here is you can select different points along the graph. And what it will do is it will take this graph and put it into um, a table for you. Once you have the graph modified that way and put into a table, then you can copy the table and put it into Excel, uh, into um, Excel and then put it into index. You can copy and paste the N data, the K data, and wavelength and modify it as you see fit. This is really, really helpful as well. Um, check that out. Using DAGRA to take data out of an image. Um, very, very powerful stuff. And using Excel with Filmstar. Very, very powerful stuff. Okay? So that is copy and paste. The next section we want to look at is VBA. VBA is Visual Basic. It's uh, from Microsoft, and uh, it's used throughout the Microsoft applications. It's very, very powerful stuff as well, uh, very useful. And Filmstar, FTG software using Filmstar, Index, uh, Measure, Crystal, Monitor, all the different uh, software um, products available through FTG software will use VBA. And in this example here, there is a three-line example that you can try yourself. If you've never done any VBA programming, all you have to do is type out this example, these three different lines, and then click Run or press F5. And you will see that this actually says, Hello World. Very, very simple. All it does is uh, print out the words hello world. But let's look at that in a, look, let's look at VBA in an actual Excel table. One of the things um, that's at the top of the FTG software site, uh, the page that's uh, related to the Laser Focus World article, is how to get this developer tab to show up. Normally when you install Excel, the developer tab isn't there. So following the instructions, I click File, Options, Customize Ribbon, and over here, I've got my Customize the Ribbons main tabs open. Over here, the developer tab is unchecked, so you want to check that. As soon as you check it, you click OK, 
and this developer tab becomes available. Once that developer tab becomes available in this particular Excel file called colors.xls, I can click Visual Basic. Down here in the modules, there's this Bass Colors. I'll double click that, and here's the Visual Basic code that makes colors.xlsm run. If you're familiar with VBA or if you've done any Visual Basic programming, this is going to make sense. You're going to recognize this and go through it and see how it runs. If you've never done any VBA programming or just maybe a little bit and you're not that familiar with it, I recommend you go through it and just kind of read it line by line and see what it does. It becomes easy to understand. And so, for example, right here, a min equals range a min dot value. And then at the bottom here, we'll start to see it pulls out a min to a min max step a delta. And so it's setting up the a min range, the a max range, the a delta range, and pulling the value from those cells. And we can see that right here. Angle of incidence, the minimum, the maximum, which is the range, and then the delta. So to go through it and read it a little bit line by line, it becomes understandable. You'll see exactly what's going on here. And then once you see what's going on, go ahead, save this as, a, as an archive, and make changes as you see fit. Um, change any of these things you like and see how it changes. Um, these Excel files are made available through the FTG software website and you can download them and do whatever you like with them. Modify them so that they're useful for your needs and your um, coding lab. Okay. Going back to the article, you can see that as you dig deeper into VBA, you'll learn that Excel can act both as a client and a server using component object modeling. This is very, very powerful stuff. Look into it. Try it out. Like I say, download the files from the Laser Focus World um, associated site on the FTG software website and try them out. Look at the VBA code, modify it, and see what happens. Okay? So that's VBA, very powerful. The next thing we want to look at in this article, the next section, is color tolerancing. Color tolerancing um, is very important if you're doing uh, color filters for a projector, let's say, for television or movies or um, entertainment, uh, or if you're doing something like eyeglasses, ophthalmics, where color is very important in the end product. So, as you can see here, FS Basic is Filmstar's COM compatible programming language similar to VBA. This is also very powerful, and this is another reason why Filmstar is really, really uh, good to use. It makes it easy to use because it becomes very powerful. So, in this particular example, you can find that the color tolerancing files are here. RANDCOLOR.XLS, SPECTRALCALCULATOR5NANOMETER.XLS, and using this basic file, Excel RAND, and I'll come back to that in a minute. You can download these and check them out. The SPECTRALCALCULATOR5NANOMETER.XLS is made available by Bruce Lindblom at BruceLindblom.com. If you go to his website, you can click Calc, go to the Spectral Calculator Spreadsheets, and down at the bottom here is the 5 nanometer, and it also has 10 nanometer and 20 nanometer. You can download it here, and it comes in a zip file, and the zip file contains both the Windows and Mac version of the Excel sheet. So go ahead and download this uh, and check it out. So if we want to look at the example here, I'll open RAND color, and I'll open spectral calculator. And to run, for example, a randomization of layer thicknesses in a particular film star design that I'm using, 
I'm going to use my ophthalmic green here. So I've got that open. I've got the spectral calculator 5 nanometer Excel file open from Bruce Lindblom. And most of this is locked. You can see that it has illuminance for A, B, C, black body, and custom at 2 degrees and 10 degrees and so on. It has the different color uh, spectrums that you can check out and how to uh, define those. And then along the side here, we have the sample spectrum. When we first open this, we can see there's a sample spectrum for 400 all the way down to 700. But the design that I'm going to run here is from 380 to 780. And I'm going to make sure that it is a 5 nanometer interval. So when it pulls the data, it matches up with the spectral calculator 5 nanometer XLS file. OK? So I'm going to look at a rand color. And this does exactly what it says, random colors. It makes a small change to layer thicknesses. And if I click CIE, get CIE, XYY, LAB data, it's going to run this and pull the information from the Bruce Lindblom's spectral calculator 5 nanometer and display the illuminant A, LAB, the illuminant E, XYY, and LAB. And there we go. Quick, easy, very powerful, very helpful. And what you can do is, prior to actually putting your coding design into the coding machine, into the coding lab, you can see what kind of uh, changes will happen with these small changes in random layer thicknesses. And it gives you the random color. OK? If we go back and take a look at the spectral calculator 5 nanometer from Bruce Lindblom. You can see right here that it's pulled that data from Filmstar, from that design, and put it in here. This is actually amazing, to be honest, and very, very powerful, very, very helpful, and very, very useful. OK? Looking at this, the Excel RAND.BAS file that you download from the FTG software website. I've set up my modules here to run various um, functions. As number four is Excel RAND. You can set it up any way you like. And I've just got that to uh, running the Excel RAND. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Number four, it's going to run Excel RAND. And it opens it up here. And what you can see here is it's only got three iterations here, three columns. And if we look at the basic file, it's almost the same as looking at the VBA file that we looked at just prior to this section. What you can see is the number of iterations is three. And the associated Excel file that comes up is only three. So you can go through this the same way that you go through the VBA files and see exactly what it does. You can change and modify this to do whatever you like with it and to suit your needs. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to 100, and I'm going to save it. I'm going to close out this one. And if I run it again, you can see the iterations have now changed up to 100. It runs, and there, I've got my 100 iterations or my 100 columns associated with that basic file at 100 iterations, giving me the changes in layer thicknesses. And then I can click this button and get the uh, CIE, XYY, LAB data for those different changes in, in layer thicknesses. OK? 
Very, very powerful stuff. Now you see several different Excel files working together, working with a basic file that you can download from FTG software. You can modify the Excel uh, files, the Visual Basic. You can modify the uh, basic files to do what you like. You can set that up right here in Filmstar into any of these modules to run any of the uh, functions that you like. This is very, very powerful stuff, okay? And that is the color tolerancing. Very, very useful, very, very handy, okay? Okay, the next section we want to look at is color maps. This is very uh, handy as well, very powerful, very handy, and it allows you to take a design and look at the different colors at each wavelength or different wavelengths across a number of angles of incidence. Again, very handy when you're looking at uh, color filters of any kind if you need to um, assess how angle of incidence is going to uh, change or affect your color filter or your cutoff or cut on filter. And you can find the colors.xlsm file right here on the FTG software website. And let's take a look at that. We had that open a minute ago. And what I can do here is when you download this and open it up, it takes the design file budo.faw and it will display reflection colors or transmission colors from 400 to 700 with a delta of 10 at angle of incidence from 0 to 70 at 5 uh, degrees angle of incidence uh, iterations. Okay? Again, we looked at this already, but here's the VBA code that makes that run. You can look through it, change it as needed uh, for your particular uh, needs. But let's run this. There's the Budo 400 to 700 delta 10. I'm going to display the reflection colors. And you can see that just runs very nicely. Okay? If I want to, I can display the transmission colors. And there it is in transmission. 400 to 700, 0 to 70 degrees. And I can change that. I'm going to select a film archive. And let's pick a high pass. Okay. Pick my high pass, and I can change from 500 to 600, delta 5, and from angle of incidence, 0 to 45, delta 5. And I'm going to display reflection colors. There we can see them there. Okay? If I look at the transmission colors, that's what it looks like. So this is very ha handy, very powerful, very useful. Again, before you get into the lab and run a test of any kind or run some production and then look at the measured data and start pulling um, CIE, LAB, colors, and so on and so forth, you can just run this and take a look yourself. This is very, very useful, very, very handy to have. All of these files you can find right here on uh, FTG Software's website, and you can modify them to do anything you need them to do, okay? The next section we want to take a look at in the article is optical glass. Um, Schott and O'Hara, they make their catalogs of glass available with all the data about their glass. They do the analysis and make the Excel files available about their uh, catalog glasses. And if we take a look at the, uh, the FTG software website, you can find them. The original data can be found at O'Hara and Schott. And Fred Goldstein of FTG Software has made modifications to, the, to those Excel files and made them available here. 
O'Hare glass and shot glass. And let's take a look at them and see what can be done. So I've got the shot glass catalog here. And you can see that the original file has the data table of each glass, the description, the change index, and so on. This is from the original. And Fred Goldstein of FTG Software has added this page, Export. And this is very, very handy. So if I have to use one of these glasses or one of these substrates for a new design that I'm doing uh, for a, an optical device that's being uh, made and developed, and I don't have in my index files that particular uh, glasses or substrates um, index and absorption data, I can click this button here, export, and go down and let's choose any glass. Um, any one of them. Let's choose SF6. 10 nanometer thickness and click OK. And what it automatically does is it pulls the wavelength data, it pulls the index data, and it pulls the K data, the absorption data. It also, if we look at the Visual Basic code for this, it also selects for export that data. And you can see that here. It's already been selected. So you don't have to control C or copy or anything. And then I can go into Filmstar Index. I can click File, Paste Table, File, Save As, SF6, save, and there I've got SF6, okay? Really, really handy, really, really easy to use, and there's SF6. Now I can go into Filmstar Design and look at my film indices. And SF6 is now available to use as a substrate when I'm doing designs. Click OK. And there we go. Very, very handy, very easy to use, and saves a lot of time. It makes your designing and setup of these uh, designs and substrates and materials uh, so much more efficient, so much easier. Um, download this file, you'll use it. I'm sure you will. Okay, check it out. Very, very handy, very easy to use. The next section in the article, uh, Laser Focus World, is coding designs. And in 2012, uh, Filmstar added the stack mode design format which allows you to do a lot of different things in your um, designing. Dispersive materials in a format ideal for modulated designs in which layers and or indices vary mathematically. Examples include broadband high reflectors where each layer is a multiple of the previous layer. Rugge designs simulated by thin layers and varying index. This is very handy to use. Um, it also allows you, uh, using Design and Excel, when you convert from optical and or crystal monitor run sheets to be used with other software. So you can take your design to run in a, an Excel file and or a CSV format, uh, file format and use it with other software packages. So now you are using not just Filmstar and Excel, but now you're being able to take data out of Filmstar, out of your design and your production uh, cycle, and 
copy and paste it into other people's or other uh, companies' software uh, setups. This is very, very handy and again, very powerful uh, because it saves so much time in transferring data from one software package to another manufacturer, another company's software package. Take a look at that. Uh, if you're using somebody else's um, software, whether you're measuring or whether you're monitoring, um, this is easy to use, easy to transfer, and very, very handy, very, very powerful. The next section in the Laser Focus World article is multiple spectra. Spectral measurements are crucial for index determination and so on. If you're doing multiple spectrums or multiple measurements, whether they're automatic or whether you're doing them manually, sometimes you have to sit and measure manually, whether you're making um, changes in angle of incidence or whatever the case may be. In this case, there was um, a recent application involved measuring optical spectra over a wide temperature range. And as temperature changes, so does the uh, spectral uh, properties or spectral outcome performance of your thin film. And as this runs, in this case, automatically, the data provided by the Perkin Elmer Lambda, Lambda 950 spectrophotometer using measure from FTG software is put into, is made available in a table format in, where you can copy and paste that table, you can copy and paste the uh, spectrum output and compare them. You can put them into graphs, you can put them into uh, different data tables and manipulate them mathematically if you need to, algorithmic, algorithmically if you need to, and again this becomes very, very powerful, saves so much time, becomes very efficient, especially when you're, use, you know, when you're using uh, several different um, spectrums that you need to, to look at. Once you get beyond two and three spectrums where you're, you can't do it uh, manually or by hand copying, pasting, this is very, very uh, handy to do and very powerful. Okay. The next section in Laser Focus World's um, article is Quality Assurance Database. Looking at the FTG software website, the section related to this on FTG's site is the QA database files, getfmspectra.xlsm and spectrafmp12. This uses the FileMaker database uh, from FileMaker Pro version 12 or 13 is required. Again, just like DAGRA, you can, you, you can download a, a free 30-day trial and try this out. And what this does is as you take data over time from different spectrum that you're using, different coding runs that you're doing, whether it's day to day, uh, whether it's shift to shift, or month to month, or year to year, and sometimes um, even season to season, because we know as seasons change, so does the environment in our lab, and therefore so does the uh, performance of our coding runs. And if we run this, if you go through this section, read through it, and download the getfmspectra.xl SM and Spectra FMP12. Use the 30-day free trial if you don't have FileMaker, and it will go through these different files and give you a comparison of the different Spectra, your coding runs, your coding performance, your quality, so to speak, over time. And you can track and look at different changes. You can look at um, possibilities of why it may be changing and try and tighten up your quality control, your quality insurance, and the environment in your lab uh, to make sure that you have consistency and good quality for your customers and for your products. Um, this is very, very helpful, very, very powerful stuff. This brings us to the end of the article. Uh, I really recommend that you check it out. Um, it's very powerful, like I say, I keep saying. 
and very useful. It's very handy and makes things so much more efficient. Using Excel, using Design, Index, and other software packages from other uh, manufacturers or uh, companies, you can pull all of these things together and it will make your designing and your production flow so much easier. Okay? Okay. That's it for the whole article. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time on Coders Tech.